And first tonight, the state is pouring millions more into the Department of Labor. Thanks for joining us. I'm Molly Pat. This all comes as the agency struggles to help unemployed Kansans. So our Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung joins us live now. Rebecca, where exactly is all this money going? $11 million of leftover federal relief money is going to the state's Labor Department, mostly to their contact center to help in their efforts to address a high volume of calls. And top lawmakers say it's money worth spending. A lot of our citizens are still trying to get help. The department is trying to work through a lot of issues. Long call lines, payment delays, and an outdated computer system at the center of it all. I think things are slowly getting better, but there's still people that are having issues getting their checks. When the pandemic hit, things were bad. Record numbers of unemployed Kansans were waiting on payments. Now the department says it's been able to cut that number down. The agency's had to deal with many issues this past year, trickling down to unemployed Kansans already struggling financially. Lawmakers have been spending millions to bring in more workers to handle all the calls and to update the decades old computer system. Now more money is on the way to help the struggling department keep up. Now it's about helping the folks that truly need the benefits and having $11 million so there should go a long way. This funding today will help uh, speed that process up a little bit. Now the department plans to use this money up to the end of those federal unemployment programs being in place. Right now they're expected to end in September. At the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung. All right, Rebecca, thank you for that. We'll continue to keep you updated as this process and conversation moves forward. We know that it is a long one and an important one, so be sure to check in with us on KSNT.com throughout all of it.